Well, if you live in, work in, or even visit D.C., ABC 7 News has uncovered a potential safety issue when and if you ever need 911 here. Now, this problem came to light after 911 operators hung up on a woman three times. Our Jennifer Donlin went looking for answers today. She joins us live from Northeast with a major development here. Jen? Well, Allison Leon, a whopping 70% of emergency calls to the city's 911 call center come from cell phones. So what happens if you can't speak? What if you're injured? What if there's a stranger in your home and you can't talk? How does help find you? Well, a woman standing on the corner behind me called 911 three times and was hung up on. We now know why, and it points to a much larger issue. After an ABC 7 News inquiry, all 911 emergency operation employees in the city will be retrained after what happened to this 28 year old graduate student. I thought that police will come right away. Sunday night, 911 operators hung up on her three times, moments after a mass robber pointed a gun at her face in Northeast DC. I thought that I'm alone on the street. Um, yes, I can go home, but what if he will follow me? She frantically called 911 from her cell phone again and again. The Office of Unified Communications, D.C.'s 911 call center, told us why operators kept hanging up on her. They could not hear her. On all three occasions, two separate call takers experienced the same silence from this specific caller, which possibly indicates that the caller's cell phone was muted or that there was a carrier issue. She said she could hear the operators, and according to her, one even said, I'm going to hang up on you in 30 seconds. If you cannot hear me, at least tell me that you cannot hear me or um, let me somehow know that the help is coming. In Three successive emergency phone calls from the same number with an open line. We asked the questions and today the OUC said they found that the call takers involved did not call the number back or challenge the calls with TTY, which involves sending a text to the phone. As a result of this incident, they said, all OUC emergency operation employees will be retrained on these policies and processes. Everyone should be assured that when you call 911, you get a fast response. And when we don't, that's, turn, that's when we get to the performance of the administration. They need to keep getting it better, and we cannot afford any mistakes. Obviously, there are a lot of reasons why an individual who faces grave danger might call 911, but cannot say anything. And so we want to make sure that there's a policy in place going forward so something like this does not repeat. I think the real message to the public with this story, especially when you're here in the city, is that when you call 911 standing here on the street, do not assume that they automatically know where you are. You really need to know where you are so you can tell 911 operators. You can also text emergency calls. Can they track your cell phone to a nearby cell phone tower? We're told when some wireless callers come in, they do come in showing a latitude and longitude, and they can find you. In Philadelphia, for instance, every single cell phone that call that comes in, they can locate you. Reporting live from Northeast, I'm Jennifer Donnellan, ABC 7 News.